Hello again and welcome to the Empowering Word. I'm Ken Brown. I'm so glad you joined us today. Uh, we're going to be jumping right into Psalm 77. Now, uh, this is kind of a, a, a very uh, interesting psalm, a psalm of Asaph. Um, and uh, and it, he's going through a very distressing time uh, as he's uh, seemingly praying to God and not receiving an answer, not receiving uh, any word back, and, he, and, he, and he's in a place of distress. Uh, and the reason why I feel like this is a very specific word, because I believe that, that for some of you watching right now, that some of you might be in a place where uh, you're in a place of distress. You don't uh, know where to go, where to turn. Uh, you feel like your back may be up against a wall. You may feel like um, there's nowhere for you to turn, and you feel like you're your, your, your prayers are being unanswered, that, that God is not with you. So I want to I encourage you today with this word, and I want to begin to just kind of read this uh, psalm. Psalm 77. The psalmist writes, I cried out to God for help, and I cried out to God to hear me. When I was in distress, I sought the Lord. At night, I stretched out in untiring hands, and I would not be comforted. I remember you, God, and I groaned. I, I meditated in my spirit. It just grew faint. You kept, you kept my eyes from closing. I was, I was too troubled even to speak. I thought about the former days, the years of long ago. I remembered my songs in the night, and my heart meditated, and my spirit asked, Will the Lord reject forever? Will he never show favor again? Has his unfailing love vanished forever? Has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has he in anger withheld his compassion upon me? But, but then I thought, to this will I appeal. The years when the Most High stretched out His right hand, that hand of favor towards me. See, I will remember the deeds of the Lord, and yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will consider all of your works and meditate on your mighty deeds. For your ways, O God, are holy. What God is as great as our God? You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. With your mighty arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. The waters you saw, O God. The waters saw you and withered. The very depths were convulsed. The clouds poured down water. The heavens resounded with thunder. Your arrows flashed back and forth. Your thunder was heard in the whirlwind. Your lightning lit up the world. The earth trembled and quaked. Your path led through the sea. Your way through the mighty waters. Though your footprints were not seen, you led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. I want to encourage you today with this psalm. I, I know it seems a little intense and maybe a little off point. You're saying, how, how does this relate to, 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 to my distress? Or how is this supposed to encourage me? See, this prayer is an example. This psalm is an example of, of, of how to seek God. What, what, we should, what we should do to kind of build ourselves up. What this basically is saying, this psalmist, as he prays, he, he, he comes to the end of himself. He comes to the end and he recognizes, I, I don't have anything left. My, I, I, I'm, I'm distraught. I, I'm losing sleep. I don't hear from the Lord. Is he hid himself in anger? Is he, is he hid himself away from me? And he comes to the point and he says, no, I, I, I need to change my perspective. I need to change my focus. I need to recognize that, that, that who God is. And instead... Of, uh, and, and it's this thing, you know, there's many, there's many teachers and, and preachers, they, they talk about this, and, and I want to encourage you. It's like, you need to stop telling God how big your problems are, but rather you need to begin to tell your problems how big your God is. 
And this was the shift that began in this psalm. This was the shift that began in prayer. As Asaph began to dwell as thoughts and remind himself and remind God and remind the, the circumstances and the situations. And he says, I'll remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I'll remember the miracles. See, what we need to do is recall when God's favor was upon our life, when He moved in our life, when He moved in special circumstances, because He is a miracle-working God, and He has shown Himself to be such. And at the end of this psalm, what He basically talks about is He's talking about the way that God made for the children of Israel to escape from the, the land of Egypt, from the the power of Pharaoh from that which was against them. And while their backs were up against the Red Sea, while their backs were up against the waters of the deep, and Pharaoh was burning down their, their, and, 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 and coming close to destroy them, there was no way. They had no way out. They were distraught. And in that place, God saw a way where no man could see a way. He saw a path through the waters in the waters and he made a way he parted the sea and he made a path and he led them by their path out of egypt out of the land of slavery out of the bondage they were in into the place of freedom and so today i want to talk to you about the way maker he is the way maker no matter what your circumstance is remember that he makes a way he makes a way in the place of the wilderness He makes a way out of the situation and the circumstance, no matter how distraught or disparaging it may seem, God will make a way for you. He works in the realm of the impossible. You are set up. You are in the right place right now for a miracle because He is the God of the impossible. Again, I want to encourage you. Get into the Word Seek God with all your heart. Know that He is for you and not against you. Today's empowering word is just for you. Know, know, know that He is working on your behalf even today. Again, I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, Join me next time as we continue this, this journey through the Word of God through His empowering word. If you need any more information, if you want to contact us at our ministry, please do so. Spirit and Life International Ministries, ispiritlife.org. God bless you today.